10 bucks to do what? If you go to that bucket and put your head in it. Put my head in it? Yeah. Okay. All the way. Okay, hold on. All the way. Lower. Lower. I can't go. Why is it? I can't stick it off my head. Go. Go. So part of the reason it takes so long is because people like to talk. Sailing community, boat people, just love talking. That's where my dog sleeps right here. <laughs> it's at night because I left at nine o'clock, so I'd be there at seven in the morning. Sailed straight through. Which I enjoy. So every time someone wants to talk, I'll take the time necessary to talk to them. So it does mean an eight hour day is actually four hours of work. When we bought this boat, there was a weak spot in the floor and the wood has rotted out. So we have to figure out a way to repair that board and then reinforce it so we don't go through because right now you can see when we put pressure on it, it has way too much flex. So there's nothing here to support that board. You can see this board is just delaminating. So we're going to put this metal bracing underneath to hopefully support the floor. So I installed it and I did fix the lip problem, but it is still squishy in the middle of this board. So I think I need to repair the board itself, epoxy it and stiffen it up, maybe reinforce it on the underside. Kevin gave us the name of a store that sells nothing but bolts. So we thought we'd give them a try because they're way cheaper than West Marine. If the binds are open, then we are open. <laughs> so every time I go to West Marine, I have to price match because they more than double the prices that you can get online. But I'm impatient to wait for online. It's hard to get packages shipped to me. So I just go to West Marine, find the item online, price match it, and I get the price I need. I haven't been doing that with screws and it's really important that I do because this screw right here, bolt, screw, I'm not sure what it is, it's a truss screw I think, truss head screw. It's $1.69 at West Marine and 26 cents at this place. So finding little shops that do this kind of boat repair is really important. Wind's blowing my boat over pretty good. It's supposed to be a small craft advisory today, which means 25, 29, I can't remember, 29 knot winds, I think. Here working on the boat during the storm, getting to find all the leaks and see where they come from and if we can fix them. So we have a leak down below. The only places it could be coming from that I can see, that turnbuckle, that one, possibly this window, that thing, I guess maybe the hatch too. So there's not a whole lot of hardware on this deck of where the water's coming from. What's inside there? There's shiny stuff. Is this shiny stuff what? No, feel it with your fingers. You'll be able to tell. Way. It's not wet. Okay, so the shiny stuff that I see is not wet then. This right here is one of the turnbuckles from that's the standing rigging. You've got this window here. Yeah, and they and then, said that there was a mystery leak they couldn't find Yeah, yeah. Out. and the other thing right here, it's probably right here, is the um, is the pulleys, the blocks. So I think if we remove this. Take this thing down and yeah. see. Okay. Oh, it's dry. Let's see. These are dry, so that's good. Let's These bolts are dry. I want to get up there. I know you do. I 
I feel like it's either this window or here. I don't see where else it could come from. I don't know. You want to take that thing off? Yeah, I do want to take it off. There we go. It could be all the little uh, things because yeah. there's tons of them around this whole thing and they don't look. Yeah, so I mean, this is dry, so I don't think it's coming from here. The turnbuckle here comes in here and this is all dry here. And the pulleys, the blocks are right here, the ones that I saw up there, they're all right here and they are all dry. So that only leaves the window. Which makes sense if it's leaking from here, if it rains hard enough. Maybe we should go look at it and take one of those and snap those things and look at it. Because maybe it's the snaps and it's not necessarily the window. Alright, so... Hmm. I, think it, I think we found a problem. The fact that that's so loose there, you can see water coming out. Why is there a screw in my window? That Did there. You, I wonder if they never looked under here when they said, oh, I couldn't figure out where the leaks came from. Uh, we were pretty sure that the all the leaks are coming in here through this window because we found some sketchy screws with some uh, soft epoxy and a screw that I could wiggle with my fingers. And when we pushed down on the corner of this, it was really wet. Um, so in this little period of time before it started raining again, we decided to put some more blue tape on blue tape on this window to try to keep, um, keep water from going in and then dry everything on the inside. And then when it rains really well, next time we'll be able to stick our hands up in the headliner there and see if we've stopped the leak. So this will give us a good indication of whether we are solving you know, starting to solve the problem of where the leak is coming from. Mm. <laughs> I'm sad. I thought our taping would help it, I think, at least work for a few days. Why would it no not work for it? Hey, does this still feel like Groundhog's Day? Going to the boat again, to clean some floorboards. <laughs> Making progress. Bit. We got half the boat done. <laughs> I got my neck. <laughs> we'll do that again. There's <laughs> great. Everywhere. It's like the third cockroach we found. How in the world is up there? At least they're dead, but it was sitting for three years, so I guess they made it their home. Oh, look at all those nice and crusty battery connections. That might explain why some of my lights don't work. This right here is why cleaning takes so long because you get something off and you notice some bad wiring and decide, oh, I better replace all that wiring before it uh, goes bad on me in a time when I'm not ready for it. So I went ahead and replaced this terminal bar, added new end connectors on it, so I won't have problems later. But it just slows down everything. Is that like mold color? No, it's WD-40. I use it on the stainless just to get it clean, I don't know why. Did that work? Yeah. I do some on my table saw. I think you're supposed to go maybe with the grain. I don't think it matters. Yeah, because it kind of can scratch it. Can you see it? Yeah, it's above the... Right there, right. There's an engine in my house. That's the generator right there? Yeah, that's the generator. It's nice to know that there's only three bolts holding that engine cover on. A bolt right here, two bolts right there. As long as I remove those bolts, I can get really good access to my whole engine. Ooh. 
I don't see John. Hey, why do you think we didn't watch the sunsets as much as we do here? You can see them. See it. That's right. Because there were mountains on the way. That was still beautiful, though. You'd see the silhouette of a mountain. 